drinking too much. He's drinking alone. He's drinking and driving. He's gotten a DUI. The story about the snow, we stopped at an air on the way home from the airport because it was snowing. At 12.30 at night, he said he's leaving to get something to eat. Um, I don't even know when he came back, but he walked, he said, at least two miles. Came he back. He just took off out of the just car? Just took off, yeah. Um, when I woke up in the morning, because we had to leave at 6.30, there were empty beer bottles all over the place, and it was just the two of us. So when I saw that, I knew this is not normal. What about at the wedding? Let me hear that okay, story. Okay, well, it was my wedding. and Congratulations. Uh, thank you. If thank you're you. still married, I don't uh, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, okay. still. <laughs> Who knew, but yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, we were nervous going into the wedding because we were going to have alcohol there, and our family has all kind of known that there was a problem, and we thought, well, you know what? Maybe he can hold himself together. Maybe it'll be all right, but... Um, by the end of the evening, I look around, and I'm like, where's my husband? Where's my new husband at? And somebody says, oh, your husband and your brother just left. Max, the police called, and Max is out in the street. Wow. And come to find out, he had passed out in the middle of the road. Wow. The police had found him. Luckily enough, they, they called my brother, found his cell phone. But I'm thinking to myself, he's out in the middle of the road mm -hmm. in a town that he's not familiar with. He could have got beat up. He could have got ran over. He could have killed somebody, been in jail. Somebody could have killed him. People are snapping shots, you know, uploading in Facebook, YouTube, whatever, taking I mean, was pictures it, was of that him. at least an eye-opener for him? I mean, does... Uh, he didn't remember it in the morning, as far as I know. And he, he thinks we're normal. crazy. Yeah. We, he thinks, he, said, he yeah. said it's normal? Yeah, that's what kids his age do. But he's doing these things by himself, and these are incidents that are happening over and over. And that's the memory of your wedding. Yeah, yeah, that's how it ended. Yeah, is my brother in the street, police get him. Yeah. What, what's going to be next? You two are judging me and making these assumptions about me when a few things have happened in the past and you've happened to catch me at the wrong time. And I'm sure you two have made worse mistakes than I even have, and I'm not saying a word to you about it, so that's what's really frustrating I to mean, me. I mean, you passed out at, at a wedding. It can't get more of a wrong time, middle of the street. Right. That makes sense, for sure. I mean, I know when I was there, it's like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, I could drink a little bit. I'm like, obviously, I wasn't planning on that happening at all. And yeah, it was, it was a terrible situation, for sure. And I am lucky that it worked out for me. I mean, and got, I didn't get in trouble. And you say that everyone get gets DUIs as a kid? Did you guys get DUIs? I, I wouldn't say so that So it's not everyone, a family trait. You're right. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, my whole family, like, they don't drink, really. So I'm like, I feel like even if I drink any small amount, they think that I'm drinking way more than I actually am. I mean, was that a small amount at the wedding? No, or? that was definitely not a small amount. But Max, did you plan on any of the things happening to you that have happened? Mm. Like, at what point in your life and in the day when you know you're going to drink or you're going to go have a drink at my wedding, does it turn into something... You know, other than just having a drink and stopping there and it being okay. That's what we're concerned about. It's not just one drink here and there. It turns into a... Is it a consistent... Do you drink every day? No. No. And that's what's frustrating because they have seen me at bad times and I have drank a lot at those times too, but they make it sound like I'm getting trashed every single day and that's definitely not the case.